In this video, we're going to learn about coordinate covalent bonds, and we're going to look at carbon monoxide as an example of this type of bonding. We'll see how, uh, how to draw the structural formula for carbon monoxide. So when we draw a structural formula, the first thing we do is we check out these elements on the periodic table and see how they're going to uh, form the bond by how many valence electrons they each have. So here's carbon, here's oxygen. So carbon's in group four, so it has four valence electrons. Oxygen is in group six, it has six valence electrons. So let's go ahead and start by drawing the electron dot structure for carbon and oxygen. Now in drawing the structural formula, after I've drawn the electron dot structure for each uh, element, I just go ahead and pair up any unpaired electrons. So electrons always want to be paired up, just like these two sets of electrons here are paired. Notice that none of carbon's electrons are paired, and then oxygen has two unpaired electrons. So these two electrons could pair up, and these two electrons could pair up. And once we've done that pairing, those will form covalent bonds, those two pairs. Now oxygen started with six valence electrons and now that it's sharing these other two electrons with carbon oxygen has eight valence electrons at this point carbon on the other hand started with four and now it's sharing these two with oxygen and it has six valence electrons so oxygen is stable at this point it has eight valence electrons but carbon only has six valence electrons and there's really nothing that carbon has to offer oxygen uh, to bond anymore. Oxygen is, is complete, it's finished, everything is paired up. And then carbon has these two unpaired electrons, so there's really no chance, no way that carbon can form another bond with oxygen. So oxygen is going to be a really nice element and it's going to complete carbon's octet. So carbon has six right now and what's going to happen is oxygen is going to take two of its own electrons and going to form a bond with carbon. So carbon is going to contribute no electrons to this bond, whereas oxygen will supply the two electrons. And this is what a coordinate covalent bond is. So we're going to take those two, move them in here into the center as another covalent bond. So when this happens, this electron here will move out and pair up on the outside with that other electron. So let me redraw this, and I'm going to replace any circled pairs like this one, this one, and this one with a single line as a covalent bond. So we have these three bonds. Oxygen has two valence electrons on the outside and carbon has two valence ele electrons on the outside. And that's a coordinate covalent bond. So again, a coordinate covalent bond is when one element shares two of its own electrons with another element to make a bond.